Zany friends. I am Marshall. And I am Lainey. And today we have a haul um, and new palettes from Pretties for Your Face and a very exciting item that I helped her create, which I'm very excited about. Um, so Pretties for Your Face, I do have a code down below if you are looking to save some money. And what's cool about her site is that even if stuff is on sale, you can still use my code to save extra money on top of that. So it's very awesome, um, but it should be in the first box right below you right now as you're uh, watching this so you can get that money off. Um, she does like themed stuff seasonally. Um, I, I think she tries to come out with something new like every month, but um, this particular theme that she came out with is Orange is the New Black. It's coming back for its final season, um, I believe either this month. I think it's this month. And isn't this her second palette of that theme? No, she has not done another Orange is the New Black. Okay. This is this is the first one she's ever done. Um, and the name of the palette is called You've Got Time, which is the name of the, the theme song that they play at the beginning. Um, the... <laughs> The actual packaging on this, it's like an orange fence or lockers? It, it's cells? the um, jail bars. Yes, the jail bars. What Lainey doesn't know is that I, I assisted in making this. Oh, did you really? I didn't know you did. No, I, it wasn't like a full-on job because she kind of had like what she wanted for the mm -hmm. most part. She's just like, I need some help with like some texture or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So yeah, Marshall does do uh, some work with Meg for some of the artwork sometimes. You know, he's done previous ones. I think he did the Golden Girls palette mm -hmm. and what was the other one he did? Oh, the uh, uh, Hamilton. One mm -hmm. of the Hamiltons, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hamilton. Okay, so this is it. There are five uh, shades in this. They're called Furlough, Hooch, Litchfield, Riot, and The Shoe. So they're very generic, not generic in name, but they're very generic to the show. This is The Shoe, this is Riot, Litchfield, Hooch, and Furlough. I have to say that these three colors right here are really calling my name. Yeah. I do kind of like this blue. Um, I'm not so sure about this brown one, but I think it is very topical as far as the theme goes. I think it is very well chosen for what the theme is supposed to be, but just not in my personal taste. The, the darker colors are not ones that I typically wear, um, but I think it'd be really nice to smoke out the look that you have going here. And that blue is a fun color. It's really interesting, right? So I didn't have time to put this on already because I got home and found that it was in my mailbox and was like, we're doing a video. So I am wearing other makeup. So let's go ahead and swatch a little bit for you. So the first one, this one right here, when I put my finger in it, I found that it was really creamy, like creamier than normal on hers. Her stuff, um, and it is very close to the color of my skin, which means, like, you can barely see it, which means that it's going to be a really good base color to use if you are a light skin princess like me. Um, it's going to be very easy for you to use this as a base. Um, it, it gives you a slight bit of blush. Mm-hmm, it really does. So the next one is kind of like a... It, oh, it's just so weird. It's so creamy. I can't... Get over it, Meg. You're gonna have to tell me down below if you change the formula a little bit because usually I find that her shadows are on the drier side, which means it's very good to adhere when you like a uh, mist or brush or like you know do try to foil your shadows. But like this, oh, this ooh, is an ooh, amazing that's got a nice iridescence to it. Yeah, I really like this pinky color. Like, oh, and it's just it's so creamy. I can't get over it. There's it's like a pinky lavender shift to it. Oh, this is great. Okay, and then this next one is this orange, because of course you have to have an orange color, right, when you're doing the... Ooh, that went on really well. Yeah. That's kind of like a shimmer orange. It's a nice, strongly pigmented orange with a hint of shimmer to it, like yeah. a hint of gold shimmer. And let's try this blue. I have really high hopes for this blue. Also very creamy. I think there's a shimmer in that too, isn't there? A little bit. Very slight. I have to say, this is like one of those blue colors that like... You could probably use for a transition shade because like on the camera it's picking up really blue but like in real life I would say it's probably lighter than it looks on the camera and that's okay with me because it's the type of shade that you could wear like in your crease and you would be okay. Um, yeah. And with your skin tone it kind of takes on a hint of a green on the edges. It, it really does and it is highly stainable. I'm just trying to get it off my finger and it is... It's on there. So the staying power of this shadow is probably going to be very good. And then this last one, I'm serious. I'm serious, Meg. Mm. If you did something different, I'm all about I'm all about this formula now. Like this is okay. not that I wasn't before, but wow. 
So it, it looks like, yeah, it's black, but I think there's like a hint of a rose gold. It, yeah, it looks like there's a little shimmer in it. Actually, like, that is a great smoke out color or under eyeliner. I actually really do like that color. It's, good stuff. I, it's not me office wear, but definitely. Oh, no. Wow. Just cover the eyes in that. It's <laughs> super strong. Put on some black lipstick. You are ready to rock this world, and no one's going to say I actually else. really like this palette a lot. It's um, good stuff. I can't wait to palette. dip in and, like, try it out more like like i said those three colors come into me and a little bit of that blue will just be a hint of amazingness let's see if the blue gets off see the blue got off my hand that way it just didn't want to get off my finger all right so before i go on to the very exciting thing that i did with her let me show you the other things i got so this is like a staple for me i was running low i had to get more of it this is the fix it setting spray it's from her uh wreck it ralph collection I cannot live without this. Uh, this is probably the third or fourth time. It takes me a while to get through a bottle, but this is the third or fourth time I have purchased it. Um, it is basically like water, vegetable glycerin, vitamin E, fragrance, and then a preservative. But what I basically do is put on whatever foundation, powder, and face products, as well as my brow stuff first and then I spray this on and it just basically melds everything together in this really nice layer so it doesn't look cakey it doesn't look gross it is not like to me I do have to put another setting spray on once everything is done but what this does is it just really makes everything come together in a really nice base that is what I like about it and also the smell is amazing now different people different skin this might create a very long wearing look for you it might be a great long lasting setting spray it's just my skin type it doesn't do that i actually need more <laughs> for me so definitely try this out this is one of my favorite holy grail i did i did forget to mention this is a 20 dollar palette um also okay they're also in the um whole collection is a highlighter it's called florita uh, if you guys watch the show, you know Florita is one of the Latina ladies who, I believe she's one of the ones who had like a vloggy YouTube channel um, during the show with the other one, Flauta, I think is her name. So the, the Florita and Flauta, I think. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. I have not seen the show in a long time because it's been on hiatus. So I kind of forget. The show he does not watch. But, um... Justice for, for Tasty, that's all I have to say. Okay, and then she sent me something free because you get a free something in every order. And it's the orange is the new balm, lip balm. And it's supposed to smell like a dream, a creamsicle. I call it dreamsicle because that's what it's called in the fragrance that we get from our supplier for our stuff. But it is a creamsicle yeah. fragrance. Um, there's no color, it's, it's just a white. It's just a lip balm. But I like I that that's a little bit more on the cream side than the orange side. It is. It's, it's very light orange. All right. Here's the last thing. Um, <clears throat> so I was a top seller for, I believe, May. Yeah. And uh, so when you're a top seller with her, you get to create a product. Um, and so I really, you know, I have a thing for highlighters. And I wanted to uh, do something for her, like create something with her that she didn't have in her collection. And I know, being someone who creates a lot of products in a lot of different scents, that it is very hard to, uh, not only, I guess it's not hard to come up with a sense, but it's hard to not have duplicates on something. So I wanted to make sure I was filling a need for her that she didn't have anything like that already. And so I was like, look, these are like the color colors that I kind of like um you know last time I created something with her it was a lavender with like oh no it was a rose gold with like uh lavender on the inside of it for a highlighter and it was gorgeous um but this time I was like you know I kind of like these colors and I the way I showed it to her I showed her a picture of somebody's ombre hair and I was like well I like the top color and I like the bottom color and she and she was like well I've never done an ombre highlighter and I was like okay well if you want to test it out with this one that's cool with me um so she did so the first thing i want to show you is this palette <clears throat> excuse me you can do a whole like bundle with her where you purchase the empty palette with the three highlighters and you can do it like that i i don't know if you can do this on the site but you can message her and i was like look i just need an empty palette because i have so many highlighters of yours i need a place to put it especially when i travel and i want to bring my favorite so she sold me this it was 
you know, under 10 bucks, fairly cheap. And this is the actual highlighter. So it goes from like a pinky lavender color all the way down to like this really pretty like tealy blue icy thing happening. And the name of it is called Mad Max and it's after uh, Max from Stranger Things because she had a Stranger Things collection. We have a Stranger Things collection and I just love the show. It's amazing. Um, so and I thought this was very Max, you know, it's kind of like pink, but then it goes down to blue. So like she's like a red hair girl, but she's still kind of tomboyish. So I thought that kind of, it kind of was a good match. So I'm going to just, it is, uh, it's kind of like sand. That's what it feels like to me. And I think, I think it came out really great. Hmm. It kind of came out like a, like a pink, but with like a blue ice. I, I really like how it turned out. It, it does have a strong 80s vibe. It really, it does. It really does. And that's kind of what I was thinking of, you know, having it that way. Um, and then of course the inside of the palette, I can put two more highlighters in. I just haven't yet. It does have a mirror which is great if you need that kind of thing. The mirror is great when you hold it up like this. I can see my entire face. In fact, there's, <laughs> my mascara is flaking off. I already went to work today, went to the chiropractor and came home, so my makeup is well. But yes, that one, Mad Max, you can get a pan of it for $11. I believe it's how much it costs. And I'm in love. <laughs> so that is uh, the collection. What do you think of my little haul? Okay, so. All of these colors are really awesome. Like, I, I'm really intrigued by a lot of what she put into this one. Mm -hmm. I didn't get to see the palette at all. Like, she doesn't ever send me, like, what the palettes look uh, like. Oh, yeah. When she tells me when, when I work with her. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it's interesting to see. Because um, that, that black was a surprise. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was, it was a like a brownish surprise. gold. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the highlighter, though? The highlighter is, is fun stuff. That highlighter, though. That, that's, that's bright. It is. Uh, like I said, all the ordering information is down below for you, plus use my code. And the more of you that order with my code means the more we get to create new stuff, which is amazing. Round three. <laughs> I know, I can put... Two in, I can put my other one in there too. I just, I have a spot for another one. I need to do it. Anyway, thank you. <laughs> Is it really? Maybe next time I'll do an eyeshadow. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and until next time. Stay zany. Bye-bye.